here's how I feel on this stuff. Just as a little bit of an introduction. I've got five questions for five people here. My first question is, do you feel that Ohio University's number one party school reputation diminishes your degree? Why? Personally, I do not believe that the number one party school reputation diminishes my degree. This, however, is because I'm part of the Scripps Journalism School, and that has a reputation that precedes the number one party school. Now, on the same note, it does anger me that, that we have been named the number one party school because I don't believe that our parties are any different than any other parties. And I know, especially coming from a, a different part of the country, over the summer I was asked repeatedly, why are you going to Ohio University? That's just a party school. That doesn't make sense. Well, well it does make sense, and I'll explain to you why. And I'd go on to tell them all the great things about the journalism school and just the school in general. My second question is, Ohio University has one of the nation's strictest alcohol abuse programs. Is this apparent in day-to-day -day campus life? And I move on to say, do you think we are seeing results? Even though we are one of the strictest programs around, I do not believe we see that in day-to-day -day life. Yes, you don't see kids holding open alcohol containers walking around campus, but at the same time, I don't really think there's a visual cut down on drinking there's still all the parties there's going to be in it, and I don't think there's really much that's going to be done to halt that. Or, I think the best result that we could see is, is a slowing down of the party scene, which very well may have happened. I don't know what life here has been like up until about six weeks ago. So, taking that into account, no, I do not believe that, that it's apparent that we have one of the strongest programs, but at the same time, as I said, I don't know what it was like before. So on that same note, are we seeing results? I think not necessarily, but I think kids are well informed on the problems that, that underage drinking cause. I, I move on to say, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is it to resist underage drinking in Athens? And I say, I would have to say a 1 or a 2. You can be very socially outgoing without drinking alcohol. We, many of us have been uptown, or on Palmer, or on Court, and, and we see that, yes, people are drinking around us, but no, we are not pressured to consume alcohol. Do you agree with the statement that says there's nothing to do in Athens except party? Uh, that was one of the things that I was told coming in, or at least I saw online, is that there's nothing to do here except party. And, and for six weeks, I think we've proven that 100% false. We've done so many great things throughout our time here, my group of friends and I, that I think that is a, a completely silly notion. I've had a blast doing a million other things except consuming alcohol, and I don't think that's going to change throughout my tenure here. And I wrap things up by saying, what exactly do you believe sets Ohio University apart as the nation's top party school? And, and I'll say the answer that I was hoping to get from everyone else, and, and that is nothing. I think it, it's not necessarily, it, it's definitely not a statistical, a good statistical analysis. And I know that the Princeton Review who conducted the survey did not have access to all of the students' uh, information and, and email addresses. So it can't be 100% factual. But at the same time, I don't see anything different in the party scene here than I would at any other school I've ever visited. And I think that's going to hold true pretty much no matter what you put it up against. Yes, we have a very strong Halloween season in terms of parties, but again, so does every college campus. Ours may be a bit better, but at the same time, everybody's going to get a little bit wild at that point. And I, and I don't think you can hold that to the party school standard here. But you, you have to point to the fests and the Halloweens and, and whatnot. But at the same time, our day-to-day -day campus party life cannot be much different than your normal. Now, in, in saying all that, I know I'm get, going to get a varied amount of answers and, and whatnot, but I would like to say it doesn't devalue our degree as a, as a student body whole, but I don't know that for sure.